Hi guys and what is up? That Geeky Minecrafter here. Today I'm going to be showing you um, a new 1.8 skin uh, blender tutorial on how to make a Minecraft rig blender edit. So, um, first of all, you obviously have to download Blender again. Um, not again, but if you already have it, then that's cool. Then just, you know, skip this part. But yeah, if you don't have Blender, I'll put that in the description too to download Blender. And it's for free, so do not worry about any like ads and stuff. And there isn't any viruses that come with it. It's completely, you know, cool. So yeah. Then obviously you have to download the Blender rig. But uh, basically, if you have WinRAR or uh, 7-Zip or something like that, it'll come in that type of file. So all you just got to do is just open the uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip file, and then just sorry, drag the Minecraft Player Blend out onto your desktop, then just delete the WinRAR file. Then just open up Blender, click File, Open, and let's just go onto my desktop, and Minecraft Player Blend. So again, there is a black box on its head, I forgot how to delete that on my club, it's okay, you don't have to exactly delete that, but I just like doing it, I don't know why, but yeah. So now you've got this open. Uh, some people have been requesting how to move the screen about, so let me show you how to do that quickly. Just click File, User Preferences. Oh yeah, and also if the um, Steve is blurry, just go on File, User Preferences, System and Untick Mip Maps because it goes very, very blurry when you have ticked it. So to move the screen about, just click on... which one was it? Ah, that was it. Input. And tick Emulate 3... Uh, emulate sorry three button mouse and tick continuous grab then when you've done this um, if you click um, ALT and like left click and drag at the same time you will uh, you can drag it about and move the kind of screen position so now you've done this you can put in your skin so to do this just click image Ooh, replace image and click Blender stuff, well, wherever you've saved your skin net. So basically, sorry if you can hear my dog, she's such a butthole. But yeah, then um, you just got to get your skin net and just click it. And as you can see, it will put in the skin. I am so sorry about that, like, black thing that I it, I don't know what's wrong with it. Just to check that the it works with the, whoops, with the black thing on the head, it does. Do not click render animation. I'm sorry, I clicked that by an accident. Do uh, render image. So there, as you can see, it works perfectly for 1.8 skins and, like, uh, masks and stuff. So yeah. Next, you just want to do a background colour to make it look all pretty. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, guys. Um, when you put on your skin, or you can do this before you put on your skin, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you click on the second player armature. If you do not click on this, um, then you won't be able to move your uh, skin about. So yeah. Then just uh, move this about, select underneath your character, press shift and A, mesh, plane. And as you can see, it puts a little floor underneath your character. So <laughs> when you've done this, um, it might be going through your character, so what you want to do is just press G while you've got the floor selected, and drag it underneath your character. Then uh, do that and press S while you've got the floor selected and make it bigger as big as this thing yeah okay <laughs> so next what you want to do is just uh, press 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 um, shift and D to duplicate the on the floor then just left click press N and go on the X rotation over here and type down 90 and hit enter so when you've done this it will like put a basic wall beside your character and if it's going through again just press G and drag it all the way whoops what the flip yeah that might happen sometimes don't worry just do that and there you go you've got the floor and the uh, wall behind you so then if you click render and render image kind of looks plain still but you've got your character and you've got your background so what you want to do is just color in the floor and to do this just click on this little icon here click new select uh, click on this thing and then just move this around to whatever colour you want and I want like a light blue colour because I, I don't know I like the colour there we go that's nice then select the wall and do the exact same thing 
Oh my gosh, my dog is so annoying. Oh, my sisters. <laughs> so yeah, do the same with the wool as well. Make it kind of the same colour. You don't have to. It can be any other colour you want. Oh my gosh, my little sisters. Damn it. So I'm just going to do that. Hopefully that'll be the, kind of the same colour. So then when you click render and rem render, render image, it will come up all nice and colourful behind you. So now, obviously, what you want to do is move your character into a position. Now I'm not going to spend all day doing this, but you can do it as cool as you want. You can make it look like a selfie, as I've done before. Like, it holding the camera to its face, and yeah, it's, it's cool if you do that. But to actually um, move the character about, you've got right click and drag whichever bones you want. So if I wanted to move the arm, I right click and drag up or down. So, um, and you have to move it into a certain type of position to like actually move the bones a different way. So if you wanted to move it that way, then you'd have to come into this, whoops, it, damn it, into this position and then drag it like that. But you know, you don't have to. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a little position like that. Oh yeah, and you don't have to drag uh, this bone, this bone's kind of like spastic, because if you drag it, it just drags it out. So instead of doing that, you can just select it and hit, uh, press R to rotate it to make it a bit easier. So then, yeah, whoops, fudge cakes. I don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm just doing anything really. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that looks okay. So now when you hit render and render image, You've got your lovely Minecraft character and it looks so smexy. <laughs> so if you're not happy with that and you don't want to show like the whole body because it's kind of showing the background, I don't know. If you just want to show, I don't know, half of your body or just show a certain part like you're just your face which would be kind of weird but you know still. Then you can zoom out and then you'll find this little camera thing over here. Oops, sorry about that. So you'll find this little camera thing. This is basically what you take your picture with. So if you um, select it with by clicking right click and hit G then you can move it into any place you want. So if I want to do just the top half of my body or something, I don't know, I just do it like that or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, you know what I mean. You don't have to do it, have to do it the exact same way but I just find it cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Blender tutorial. I hope it helped you a lot because a lot of people were requesting for me to do this uh, because last time it was a really old blender rig because it was like for 1.7 or 1. Point, I don't know those type of skins and it didn't have the player hat on but now it does so it's all good and also I've told you how to like move the screen about by hitting by doing this right just to make sure you know you've got to click on input and do emulate three mouse uh, three button mouse and continuous grab and then to move it you have to hit press Alt, uh, ALT, sorry, and left click and drag at the same time. So yeah, you can move it about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped somehow. Um, so yeah, and to save the image, just do image, uh, save as image, and yeah, you've got it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If it helped you, leave a like and comment below. Maybe even subscribe. So yeah, see you guys later. Goodbye.